hello my vibe tribe this is a continuation or part two of the other vlog so for you to understand this vlog you need to watch the first vlog so that you can understand because it's a continuation of the first vlog so welcome to my channel once again and this in is my name and i'm here to show you epic vlogs from my country kenya welcome if you're new here remember to subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you to Kenya. Oh, Jambo Buana. How are you guys? That's a place where we can live your. Huh. Welcome to hell. Oh, it was good. Good experience. Good for the walk. Yeah. Good. Thank you, Vitaly. All right, guys. Welcome to the geothermal. It's beautiful. Much oh. into the water. Oh. You know some of you know. Hmm. Oh, what? Back to back. Oh, I love it. Seeing the zebras up close. If you're a fan of the movie The Lion King, I'm going to show you the exact spot where they shot the movie. Okay, so I understand you are starting the point of hell, so let's go. Oh my god, what is this? <laughs> You need like a here go or uh, down through, yeah. ah and you go here. Yes. Sir. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Continue. Yeah. Oh, it seems to be hard, a little bit hard here, but I did it. Oh my God! What is this place? Uh. Yeah. It's a little bit hard, but I did it. We are in the gorgeous world. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, okay. So we are in hell. Yes. Jump. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I did it. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, maybe this person. Okay. This is the waterfall? Yes. What's the name of the waterfall? This is Mobile Picnic Ah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> okay. yeah. So what, these gorges? Oh, so how are they formed? This is formed by volcanic, okay. which is the mountain erupted in Kenya. That's Mount Suswan and Mount Longonot. Ah. When that mountain erupted, yeah. the land sink down, some place gets suffering. Ah, okay. So it yeah. led to the formation of yes. this? Yeah. Interesting. Beautiful nature. Yeah. Thank you, nice. Oh, welcome to hell. Still maneuvering our way to the hell. Oh, 
seems it's a little bit now hard now. Oh my god. No. I'll be very honest with you guys. I really love these uh, walking parts of uh, walking to the gorges. It's really amazing for me. I find it very satisfying. And our guide is so helpful. Oh my God, you guys, he is so helpful. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. His name is Hassan. Yeah, he's helping us walk through the gorge and it's amazing. This is a very good experience. You know, once in a while you can take a day trip to Naivasha because this is a day trip. It's so easy. You leave early morning and go back. Maybe you're from Nairobi, you go back the in, during the evening and it's good. Uh, bonding with nature, relaxing your mind, calming. So good. I mean, it's just also like an exercise. And it makes you feel so good because you are different from the busy environment of Nairobi if you're coming from Nairobi. So be sure to check out Hell's Gate National Park if you are coming to Nairobi. Or if you are a Kenyan, be sure to come and visit Hell's Gate National Park. There is so much, there is so much for you to see and learn. <sighs> I'll rate this experience. Five out of five. I love it. If you're really enjoying this video, please remember to give the video a thumbs up, like, share, and comment with your share it widely with your friends, okay? Let's grow together. You support me, I give you more vlogs. Cold water, so we wash our hands. Very cold water. Why is this one closed? Uh, because it uh, makes more ice. Ah, oh, okay. It's closed. Oh no! Subscribe to my channel for the best traveling content. Very cold water. Ah, <laughs> it is not cold. It's warm. Ooh, it's warm. Why are you saying cold? <laughs> nice. Ooh. You have a five star service, my dear. Yeah. Your service is excellent. Thank you so much. Has anyone told you before? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm appreciating this guy right here. You guys, he's amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for Most your great welcome. service. Yeah. I love it. Me too. <laughs> it's great small because this is the underground 
outlet of Lake Nefasha. Mm. That's why the Lake Nefasha is fresh water. Mm. Yeah. But this water is not good for drinking because this water is mixed by silica and sulfur. Ah, okay. It's good for skin uh -huh. outside the body, but it's not for inside the body. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. Karibu. Alright guys, so this is the warm and cold water that is coming from Lake Naivasa. Remember, this wall that you see, it's very wet, it's an outlet of Lake Naivasa. And that's why sometimes you find the water is quite hot or warm sometimes. Hey. If you are loving my vlogs from Healthgate National Park, please remember to like the video subscribe comment and let's get to 5000 subscribers guys we can take this home guys come on let's do it the vibe tribe let's do this yeah so this gorgeous some will call it gorgeous some will call it canyon for those who understand both are the same name so it's 18 kilometers and it has many or different views uh very view, different scenarios or view scenarios that one is hot water guys don't forget 18 kilometers long and different different beautiful sceneries welcome to kenya hakuna matata Jambo, Jambo Buana, Habari Gani, Muzuri Sana, Wageni, Wakaribishwa, Kenya Yetu, Hakuna Matata. Welcome to Kenya, guys. Exit point. Okay. We go up and then we go to the hundred. So meters. if you're a fan of the movie The Lion King, I'm going to show you the exact spot where they shot the movie. Mufasa. This is the spot. You see where they put the metals? And then we go all the way. Hi guys. Hello. Up to where? Sorry? Go back to your ranger spot. Why? That's the place where we can leave your bike and then you start through the canyon high. Yeah, Vitaly, how was your experience at the gorges? How did you find it? Yeah, it was good. It was good. Good experience, good for the walk. Like in the Baton in Canyon, I like it. And uh, what I say, yeah, we, we also have like this canyon in the Russia. Oh. Yeah, like uh, it's uh, this, uh -huh. like a little different mm. because uh, like a uh, color on the on, in a in a canyon, uh -huh. like a uh, different. Yeah, it's yellow, it's a little green, uh -huh. and also I like like a uh, hot water. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, from uh, coming from volcano. It's so good. Is it as beautiful as the Kenyan one? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> ah, okay. Which one is better, the Kenyan one or the Russian one? <laughs> Both I like. <laughs> Both you like. <laughs> but I think uh, ours is more beautiful. I've not seen yours, but you've seen both. Which one is uh, better or which one is longer? Uh, mm, depends of the... Like uh, where we take a path like this way. Uh -huh. And... Uh, for me, I like here um, um, hot water. Hot yeah, water. so good. Yeah, hot water. Ah. I didn't see before. You didn't see before? Yeah. Ah, okay. And uh, how did you find Hassan, the tour guide? Yeah, 
It's good. It's good? Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Explain too much. Yeah. Uh -huh. So good. Maybe here, uh, say a few words. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you so thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Now welcome to Kenya. This is a beautiful country. Yeah. You have uh, gorgeous, uh, you have uh, cliffs, which is we do rock climbing. And also we do cycling in our, our national park. Now welcome to Kenya. Nice. Hassan, do you get Russian clients or customers? Yes, a lot. A lot? Yeah. A lot of many. Russians are yeah. visiting I Kenya? Many friends ah. ah, nice. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Have fun. Yeah. Good. Thank you, Vitaly. <laughs> I repeat, uh, Hassan has an amazing service and even the fact that he even helped me carry my bag when I was walking through the gorges because he saw how I was struggling. It's just amazing. These are the little things that make people happy. Thank you, Hassan. The little things that we do for our fellow human beings means really a lot. You might see it as just something normal, but some of us don't take these things so normal uh, because it makes our hearts happy and we feel so happy when little things are done to us. So imagine 10 clients having this kind of feeling. What do you think will happen? Thank you, Hassan, once again. Guys, welcome to the geothermal spa. Obsidian or you said? Obsidian or volcanic glass. Obsidian or volcanic glass. So, if you want to swim here at the geothermal spa for Kenyan citizens, it's 400 Kenya shillings. I'll convert that into dollars. And for non residents, it's 1800 Kenya shillings. I will also convert that into dollars. And then you can swim whatever time you want yeah and the swimming is good here because it helps if you have a skin disease the geothermal spa will help the that water because it's hot and they I think it has some uh, i'll ask what it does and then yeah it helps all right so the water has sulfur and silica that's why it uh, helps you with the skin disease if you have skin disease so i'll just show it very quickly to you maybe a few minutes then i swim and then we head over to crescent island There is no one in the pool. It's gonna be an interesting swim. Let's do this. So when you pay for the pool, they give you a entrance ticket. So yeah, we have the first riding. First riding? Yeah. Wow, okay. All right, guys. Ah, okay. We are now heading for the Crescent Island. So we are heading to a certain resort. I don't know which resort it is. And then we take a boat to the other side of the Lake Naibasha. resort to take the boat then head over to the crescent island i've never been there it will be my first time at the crescent island so i'll let you guys know what my experience was like I love the beauty of this hotel, Lake Naivasha Resort. So now we are heading for the boat ride. They gave us life jackets and the boat ride is one hour and to walk around the Crescent Island is one hour. 
So that will be maybe three hours max, and then we will come back and then head over to Nairobi. This is the result. Hmm, so many people. Maybe there's a conference going on here or something. I don't know. So many people. Very good. Well, <laughs> so guys, this is Lake Naivasha. This is a freshwater lake very famous here in Naivasha well known for its uh, freshwater lakes hippopotamus what else you... yeah. famous with the lake Naivasha other than the hippopotamus yes, uh, crescent island in the lake uh -huh. yeah. crescent island yes uh -huh. there's a crescent island in the lake uh -huh. and now a lot of birds like the fish eagles uh -huh. you'll also be able to see the very uh -huh. the island so it will be a nice journey oh uh -huh. Thank you so much. Ah, nice. So if you're a fan of bird watching, this is a great spot for you. Welcome to Naivasha once again. If you like this video, please pause the video and give the video a like. And let me know what you think in the comment section about my entire journey to Naivasha. Beautiful place, yeah? Interesting. All right, guys, those are hippos. I've been told not to shout. Kenya is beautiful. Oh my god. Welcome to Kenya. Welcome to Lake Naivasha. Pelican bird. Wow, so beautiful. Oh my god. You wanna feed him? Me? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, interesting. Look at the pelican bird, guys. So guys, this is Lake Naivasha. It's approximately 139 square kilometers or more. This is the normal size. It might be bigger because I understand they are expanding the boats. Sorry, <laughs> expanding the lake. So, yeah. Just drop the fish on the water. Just yeah. no, 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 no. Here, just close to the water. Just close to Sometimes they catch fish by the tail, like uh -huh. this. Uh -huh. So they use the sagging part to turn up the fish to go by the, by the head. Oh, the head. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, well, the whole has submerged into the water. Oh, interesting. Oh, 
Hi. So beautiful. The lake is so beautiful. Oh. Some timber cutting over there. Beautiful acacia. Sailing smoothly along Lake Naivash. So the two guys that you are seeing on the left side are trying to get uh, timber to burn charcoal. And the main activities here in Lake Naivasha is uh, farming, fishing and tourism mostly. That's what I've seen around this place. And uh, we're still continuing with the journey to see what surprise is waiting for us on the other side of the lake. Maybe Crescent Island, what does it have to offer? Let's see. Lake Nevasha is uh, surrounded by so many hotels and resorts and also flower farms because there's a lot of uh, floriculture that is going on in this region. A uh, little surprise again, we just seeing some hippos, they are a bit far but let's see if I'll capture that for you guys. <laughs> I don't know if you can spot some hippopotamus. Yeah, they are just over there. Hmm? Alright, guys, Lake Taibasha is 1,900 meters above sea level, and where we are now, this is the deepest part of the lake which is 98 meters interesting a whole new world so i think we have arrived at the crescent island so let's go and see how it's looking like and the weather is not so bad it's quite warm not so sunny yeah this is good weather for a day trip you can't get the burn or get so much heat sweating and everything no it's very cool weather so today's an excellent day i'm glad the weather is good you have to pick you up at the exit number one or two uh -huh. because two it's at the end Guys, if you know what this what animal this is, let me know in the comment section. I know some of you know. It is good sometimes to give you guys exam. Oh, what's that? Sometimes the beauty of this Lake Naivasha is you can just walk with the animals back to back. Oh, I love it. Litany. What animal is that? This one is? I don't know. Okay, me too. I don't know. There is anyone who knows what animal that is, please let us know in the comment section. Alright guys, here in Lake Naivasha, it's so good. Uh, you can just walk around the place. So now we are walking around the park. We are seeing different, different type of animals. If I manage to show you also the animals, it's okay. But if I want to enjoy the moment, I'll also enjoy the moment sometimes. I just want to indulge myself in the moment and also enjoy what I am seeing. Okay? So let's continue. Very beautiful place. And safe. When you're here, you don't feed the animals and you don't get too close to the animals. You have to respect the animals. But you can walk around as you see and come around along uh, different, different types of animals and birds. And I think it's a good idea. It's a different experience. I like it. Unlike other parks where you have to stay in the car, you don't have to leave the car. But here in Lake Naivasha or Hellsgate National Park, 
you can do these things oh i think i love it so welcome to lake naivosho <laughs> all right guys this is a bird but i don't know its name and it's too far this one ah, this is so beautiful oh my god this one ah, that one ah. oh my god seeing the zebras up close Oh, oh my gosh, what is this place? Oh, this is another level of satisfactory. Oh my god, oh my god, what's happening to him? <laughs> he just got scared of me. Oh my god, this is amazing. Also a monkey in the middle. This is another level of adventure. Oh my god, what adventure is this? <laughs> so beautiful. <gasps> Look at the animals up close. Oh my god, for me, this is just like a dream come true. Walking, and then you see animals on this side and this side. Ah. <laughs> I must say I'm super excited. Oh. I think that's the reason why sometimes I forget uh to open up my camera because I'm so indulged in this moment. Ah. Uh, nice. Look at Vitaly behind me. He is really enjoying the moment. So you can see so many wildebeest ah, They're running away after seeing us So I was trying to explain to you uh, guys something, but there was so much wind I had to do a voiceover. So I asked the captain, how come the animals are on the other side of the island? Where did they come from? How did they get there? I was so curious to know about this. And then the captain told me that when they were shooting the movie out of Africa, the owner of the movie out of Africa is the one who transported those animals to that other side. So if you are in the comment section and you know how they were transported to that other side, I'm so curious to learn about this story. What mode of transport they used to transport these animals? I'm so curious. I think I didn't ask the right questions. We are heading back to the resort and then head back to Nairobi. Have you liked and subscribed to this uh, channel? If you haven't, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. And then there is me, who always tries everything if I get an opportunity. 
You need to join the bike tribe. What are you waiting for if you haven't joined the bike tribe? So we are back at the result. I'm sure Zaki is waiting for us. The hippos that were there are gone. Oh my god, where did they go to? On my next vlog, I would love to take you guys with me to Baringo County. Have you ever heard of Baringo County? Let me know in the comment section if you've heard or not. And if you've gotten to this point, type the word Andisi. Just the word Andisi and I will know you got to this point. Thank you. So the day trip is uh, almost coming to an end. It's 4 p.m. and we are heading now direct to Nairobi. And uh, I think it was an amazing day for me. I feel it was so amazing. And maybe I'll be taking a little nap. And I want to appreciate you guys for coming in, joining my channel, and watching this vlog up to this far. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much to everyone who donates to the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who supports. Thank you so much to all my members. Asante Sana. Let's continue. Uh, Giving, continue giving me the support and I'll continue giving you the best of vlogs so yeah see you on the next one and I say bye bye to everyone maybe if I see something interesting on the road I'll just take a clip and I will let you guys know so for now thank you, thank you, thank you a million times vibe tribe see you on the next